For children, their language is play. So if we want to help a child heal, we want to do it through their own language. I am a therapist and a counselor, and I work with kids who've been through a lot of really upsetting, scary, yucky things. I'm Shannon Garcia. Um, I am one of the mental health therapists. Miles is my therapy dog. Um, he comes to work about two to three times a week with me. He helps the children um, just feel comfortable. We have the, the dogs a lot of times in sessions where the kids could either just pet them or talk to them, tell them their story. The dogs have just been an amazing addition. We have six other dogs that come and volunteer and they'll sit in the lobby for support with kids who it might be their first time here so that they feel more welcome. We also have had um, both Riley and Cody have gone to court and been able to support kids that way so that they can tell their story while they're sitting across from their abuser. And having a dog around just makes <laughs> these kids open up. They'll talk with Miles, they'll um, just sit there and on the floor and just pet him. And it's just about the comfort and they'll, you know, they do. They start to talk to him and tell him what they've been through. Sometimes kids can't find their voice and it's nice to know dogs don't have a voice. So they kind of understand that and it's like they, they get them. There's no judgment. You know, the dogs are not gonna judge you. They're just there, they're just gonna lay there. Um, sometimes when kids are telling us something that they're really terrible, Miles will just go and lay on their feet and just have that comfort with them. It's been really powerful to have the dogs be here. It's huge, it's been a, you know, an unexpected benefit for the summer.